Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're having a wonderful day and that you are doing well. It is another Disneyland adventure vlog today and I'm excited to share what I got up to. So I wore my Stellar 25 wrap dress. It's made of bamboo and I also wore my water resistant Vivaya flats because it was a very specific day today. I was going on Splash Mountain and I had not gone on this ride since 2017 and it was gonna be closing soon because it's actually gonna be redone into Princess and the Frog, Tiana inspired ride, which I'm so excited about, but I really wanted to go on the original Splash Mountain just to take in that final bit of magic of it. So let's head on to it. Now, I was very prepared to get wet. When I went on this in 2017, I got completely soaked, like completely soaked. And I'm like, well, I'm prepared. I wore my bamboo dress. It dries really quick. My water resistant by Bioflats, as mentioned, and my raincoat. And I love this raincoat. It is so cheerful. It's by a brand called Rains, and they have lovely raincoats. They work so great and has a great hood. And I'm like, I am ready. Let's head on over onto the ride. So I boarded on the vlog and it starts off in this ride. Like I hadn't been on it in so long and I just forgot how fun and charming it is. And just the music, oh my gosh, the music is so fun. <laughs> I am really excited at what Tiana's Bayou Adventure is going to be like. So while I was riding this, I was thinking, oh my gosh, this is so fun. I, I'm so glad I got to do this, but also so much curiosity and excitement for the new ride. Tiana's an amazing Disney princess. So I'm like very excited to see what they're going to put together in this ride and what the drop's going to be. If they're going to keep that drop, very curious. All right, and then the drop came up, but I decided not to vlog it. And there is a photo, I just can't seem to find it, but I was like pulling down my hood and I literally look like a ghost. It's hilarious. And I survived the drop. I did get wet. So it was so good that I had my raincoat because it was just my legs that got wet. Everything else, I was good. My makeup was fine. And I had so much fun going on this. And then the end is just so, so like celebratory and fun. And oh, I felt so happy to be able to go on this. It was the best. And you might have noticed I was holding my factory 55 ears. They actually, like I was holding my ears and they ended up falling in the ride and I lost one. Luckily, the person behind me found it, thankfully, which was so nice of them. And, um, but that's also why I didn't vlog the drop because I was kind of afraid I might like drop my vlogging camera. So apologies if you wanted to see footage of me going down that big drop. I just didn't want to risk losing the vlogging camera after what happened to my ears. So as you can see, I actually park hopped. So I went over to Disney California Adventure DCA after and I got some photos done with Disney Photo Pass. It was really fun. You can also probably see that I am not wet. Everything held up so well. There was also this really cool like little mermaid photo pass you could do only for um, like it's exclusive to magic key holders. So I decided to do it. I didn't know what it was gonna be. They don't tell you. And it was, yeah, Little Mermaid, which was so fun. After taking a bunch of photos, I just explored DCA. I didn't really spend as much time here as I wanted to. I've always kind of just came for like the evening, 
or in the morning for a quick little bit, but I haven't really gone on any rides. So today I was just like, you know what? I am just gonna go explore DCA and have some fun on these rides before I, you know, I head back to the hotel. I definitely wanted to explore Avengers Campus. So I headed on over there. It's a really cool area. And it actually has one of my favorite rides. It's the Spider-Man ride. And I'm very competitive with it, you guys. Like I have so much fun on it. I had to go on it. If you haven't been on, it is so fun. And I've actually surprisingly have done pretty good on it. Like I go crazy. I take off my Pandora bracelets and stuff like the charm ones that are going to like be a little heavier and weigh me down. I take those off once I get to sit down in the ride and then I just swing my arms, you guys. Like I'm like a crazy person, honestly, and I have the best time. It's a great workout. <laughs> I feel like my arms were so sore the next day. I had so much fun on it. I also went on Soarin around the world. It's such a great ride. I didn't really film much of going on it. So here's just like, you know, when you're waiting to board onto it, it's so fun. For all carry-on items in the undersea compartment, this includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little beads. Then I decided to go explore Grizzly Peak and the surrounding area. When I was last here, it was like Christmas themed and I actually meant Goofy dressed up as Santa Claus on Christmas Day. So coming back here was so like just the memories of Christmas time, but also just seeing it, you know, they had Raya here, which was so cool. And then just seeing everything, you know, done for the spring season. It was really, really neat to see. And then I also like peeked around and looked at Grizzly River Run. I believe that's what it's called. And since I had all my rain gear and stuff, I really debated about going on. I wasn't sure if it'd be too intense for me, but I also figured it'd be my last ride and then I'd just go back and rest at the hotel. So I did go on it and oh my goodness, you guys, the one thing that I learned is do not sit right by where like you enter into the boat, like the little doorway, you get so wet. Like even with all my rain gear, I got completely soaked. <laughs> you guys can see it right here on my dress. Like. I got soaked, but when I was leaving DCA, it all had like, it was all good because I found the poison apple tumbler mug. So that was cool. And then basically I went home and like, well not home, but like to the hotel and rested. And now the footage you're seeing, I didn't really properly vlog today. So I apologize, but this is much later in the day. I had changed into my comfy clothes. So I wore my Disney 100 spirit Jersey. I put on um, my same ears, actually the factory 55 ears, some leggings, some running shoes. And I just decided to go treat myself to a delicious glass of wine. And if you're traveling from outside of the US, make sure to bring your passport. That's the only ID they take. I took my delicious glass of wine and I strolled down over to Pixar Pier. I love looking out here. It's just so fun and vibrant. And I just enjoyed my glass of wine, taking in the magic. It was much later in the day at this point. I got arrested at the hotel after I hung out with Alice for a while, had dinner. And then I just came back here just for the evening. So I enjoyed my delicious glass of wine and just, oh, it was just honestly, it was just so nice and relaxing, very peaceful. And it was fun to be in my comfy clothes because usually I like to dress up, but it was fun to dress down a little bit for the evening. I explored Pixar Pier some more, stumbled into this shop and found this Coco area where they had all the Disney pet merchandise for Coco. And it was so cool. They had dog toys, harnesses, leashes, collars. It was really fun. Made me think of Alice to not get her anything, but I certainly was tempted. I also spotted these adorable ducklings with their mom. They were so sweet. They were hanging out in Pacific Wharf. And then lastly in DCA, I went on the Monsters Inc. ride. I actually got the Fast Pass this time. Actually, I think it's the only day I got it. I think it's called the Genie, actually. And it was really fun. It definitely helped me, you know, kind of get on rides faster. I did head on over back to Disneyland. I went to New Orleans Square. You might have seen I went on Haunted Mansion. And after Haunted Mansion, I headed on over to It's a Small World to watch the projections. I hadn't seen them yet. And oh my gosh, it was so magical. They have this whole performance there with the music and the projection, obviously the lights. It is so much fun to watch. So I definitely recommend popping over. After the projections ended, I actually went on to It's a Small World. I had a fast pass for it. I'm going to keep calling it fast pass, but it's the genie. So I used my genie to go on it. And I spotted all my favorite Disney characters that are kind of like hidden throughout the ride. So we got like Cinderella, Alice in Wonderland, Aladdin, all the good stuff. It's so fun to spot them. Now, what I didn't realize is while I was on It's a Small World, there's projections for Encanto that came on. 
And I didn't know that. So as I was coming out, you'll see in just a moment, I was in the boat and I literally sat in the boat being able to watch the projections literally on It's a Small World. And it was so amazing, you guys. So you're going to see that in just a couple of seconds from now. And it was just, oh, it was so, so, so magical. Please remain seated until your boat comes to a complete stop at the dock and you are asked to disembark. Thank you. Veuillez rester assis jusqu'à l'arrêt complet du bateau et attendez jusqu'à ce que l'hôte ou l'hôtesse vous demande de descendre. Merci. This is one of the reasons why I just love Disneyland so much. There's always these unexpected surprises, like these unexpected magical moments that happen. I had no idea that this would happen when I was like literally on It's a Small World. I'm in the little boat. It comes out and then magic. Like Disney is so awesome. And this was such a lovely way to end the evening, to end the day with this wonderful performance and projections. Even the train, the Disneyland train came through. Like, and it was just so cool just sit there in the boat. I don't know if they just pause the boats to let the guests stay in there, but I actually seemed to wait there a lot longer than normal, which I was not complaining about. It was like the best, like best seating ever. It was just, oh, it was so spectacular. And this day honestly was so much fun. Now this is basically the end of the day after this, I headed back to the hotel and today was an interesting day for vlogging. I apologize. I think you probably noticed I didn't have like a proper intro and stuff, but it honestly was such a fun day. And thank you so much for coming along with me to Disneyland today. I will see you guys in my next video and I hope you have a magical rest of your day. Take care. Goodbye for now.